Hello fellow translators. Today I wanted to talk to you about a question that I've received more than once. I receive it every now and then I feel and it has to do with practice. A lot of people ask me where can I practice my translation? Where can I get better at translation? I feel like I'm not quite ready yet and I need to improve upon my translation. So I just wanted to address this uh, because I think first of all having that self-doubt and sort of imposter syndrome is very natural and I, I, I still have it all the time and I think everyone gets it they always feel like I'm not good enough I can't do this I can't handle this and uh, unfortunately this means a lot of people delay getting started because they need they feel like they need to just learn a bit more practice a bit more take one more course read one more book about it or something and then they never get started and uh, it's a shame I think because I think Many times people are good or are better than they think they are, and but they just aren't. Um, they don't have the, uh, the 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 courage, for lack of a better word, that you know to uh, to do it. They feel too insecure um, to actually get started. So I wanted to address this, and in uh, yeah, because I think it needs addressing. There's the main difference between a freelance translator and a, or a big difference, I should say, between a freelance translator and a translator who works in an agency is. The translator who works in an agency doesn't need to worry about finding new jobs, about new uh, clients, or about new things to translate because they're handed them by their boss, by the agency themselves. They're, the agency gives them something to do, they work on it, and then they hand it back, and that's their day. The freelance translator has to actively find stuff. It can be from agencies, it can be from end clients, it can be from all over, but they have to actively go there, show that they're worth you know, paying to do the translation, and then actually uh, accomplish it. And so this is a big difference and it's a big, and for many people, a big minus because they have to go find their own work. But in many ways, it's also a big plus because you can find your own work. Now, what does this have to do with the topic of this video? Well, if you want to practice, I think one of the best things you can do is actually find, say, any website. If you do French to English translations, find a website that's in French and find a uh, and that hasn't been translated into English and then translate the home page into English and that way you get to practice and go over it look over it see if it looks good or if not or something like that and then if you actually like it the good point about this is if, if you actually like the way you translated it you can always contact the person who runs that website you know whatever company it might be say hey I realize you don't have your website in English yet uh, I translated your home page if you like it I'd be happy to translate the rest of the website for you and this can actually be a big leg up because they already have part of it translated and if they, they and they also have a sample of what you can do. So if that's in the works for them, a certain translation, then it could be a very viable way to get a new job. And this is a very simple way to for you to get practice, but also maybe find a new job. But here's something else you can do. You can actually find a website that has already been translated and then work on the trans and without looking at the translated version, work from the original and translate it yourself. And then you can compare it with what's already been translated. And that way you can see, if, if you feel you're not good enough, that way you can see what your translation will be compared to what, what they have. And in fact, many times you might even find that you agree more with your version than what they have. And in this case as well, you could get in touch with them and say, hey, look, I noticed that uh, your translation of your website has this, this, and that. Quite frankly, I think some of the terms are a bit off and they should be translated this way. Anyway, I translated your homepage just as an exercise, you know, for you this way, uh, feel free to use it. And if you want me to work on the rest of the, your website, please feel free to let me know. And so both of these cases, I think, are excellent because the worst case scenario for both of them is that you get some practice. And that's what you're looking for anyway. You want some practice. But the best case is that you can actually get a new job out of it. And that's what I mean by freelancers. We can go out there and get jobs because there can be jobs everywhere. And you don't have to wait for someone to hand them to you, but you can find them anywhere. They're tons of websites online, there are tons of apps, there are tons of, I don't know, street signs, marketing material, whatever it might be. And so you can just practice translating with anything there, literally. And, you know, why not? And then you can see if you're good enough or not. And once again, you can, if whenever you're happy with the translation, there's, you have nothing to lose sending an email to that owner of that website or whatever it might be and saying, hey, I translated this and, uh, you know, if, if you're happy with the translation or if you like what it sounds like, then I'm happy to translate the rest of your website. And it could be a great way to get a new client. 
So uh, yeah, I, that's why, and that's usually what I answer to everyone when they ask me, where can I get practice? Where can I find uh, ways to uh, better my skill? You have words all over the place, you know, everywhere. And so try, hey, you know, even with books, why not? If a book hasn't been translated in a certain language, try translating one chapter or I don't know, you know, part of it or something like that and sending it to the client. I haven't tried that, but who knows? You know, so many things can be translated. So why not translate them and then see if you can get a job out of it? And like I said, worst case scenario, you get practice, which is what you're looking for to get better anyway. So uh, you can see which what works best for you and uh, and how you feel more comfortable. If you want to do something that's already been translated or you want to try something new and in order to get new clients, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I think this is a very simple way uh, to, and but a very effective way as well to get some practice and also potentially get new clients as freelance translators. So yeah, uh, I thought I'd just share this with you and hopefully you can find it useful in case you're feeling a bit insecure and uh, you're feeling, you know, having that self-doubt and feeling that imposter syndrome that maybe you aren't good enough or something like that. And hopefully this can A, give you practice and B, show you that maybe you are good enough and that you can be a freelance translator and give you a bit more self-confidence. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to click thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe. And uh, don't forget to, yeah, let me know if uh, you, or let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about, obviously. You can do so in the comments below. Don't forget to leave comments if you want to uh, leave comments. And don't forget, if you do, uh, you can leave any comment you want. Uh, I just ask if you could leave your language combination, like in, in parentheses or something right before your comment. Uh, just just to, even if you're not a professional translator, if you're just working up to there or whatever, just so the different commenters can see what different languages uh, certain people speak. And I think it'll be interesting for you guys as well to see what other languages other people are dealing with. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Sabedum.